Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time, and today I've got a doozy. Um, I don't think a lot of you are going to like this, but I think I'm going to love it. Today we're here to watch the official trailer for Slother House. That's right. A murderous sloth torments a group of teenagers. I don't even need to be weird for this opening. That was weird enough. If you want to see this trailer without me and my weirdness in the way, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. Excuse me. You should click on that. Check it out. Come on back. Watch me watch this and then we'll geek out over it together. Should it be geek out worthy? However, I did just notice it's rated PG-13. How are you? I'm a little less excited now. Anyways, we'll find out. The world is weird. Times are tougher than worrying about a rating. But I do like to remind you that we will get through this. We will get through this together. And we like to say that together. It's a little mantra thing. It just puts a little smile on your face. It's the power of positive thinking compelling you. It doesn't hurt anybody. Just skip it if it bothers you. Otherwise, let's say it together. We will get through this. We will get through this together. I feel better already, even though now I'm looking up. And again, PG-13, how are you going to do a killer sloth movie? I mean, I guess it could be like like made for sci-fi and still kind of work. Maybe it's just really cheesy cartoon blood. I don't know. Because it does say violence, bloody images, and language. And it's not like I was looking for intensity out of it. You know, it's going to be silly. So maybe. Really, though, there's only one thing to do, and that is to watch. So let's do it. Let's watch. Oh, man, it's a short-ass trailer. If you're interested, it could sell you that one. They're really at sell? Maybe they just took us off. In the jungle? She's a beta. But out here, she's an alpha. Alpha? It is a wild animal. You can't even know what it eats. Alpha? <laughs> It's a slaughter house. Oh. <laughs> In theaters, August 30th. I mean, listen, I'll go. I love going to theaters. I'll go see that. I am not in love with the trailer or it being PG-13. However, I am encouraged from the trailer to be less worried about a PG-13 as it does look like they are going for the comedy. However, that is a teaser. If they call that a teaser, I'll accept it. But as a trailer, it doesn't show enough. Um, I need more sense of what the comedy is going to be because they only give you one actual joke in there with the guy saying it's a slother house and they all roll their eyes. That joke's really good. If it's going to have more of that, I'm more excited if it's, if it's not, if it's going to play it too straight, like you do need to play it straight. Like it's for real and like not winking at the audience, but then there does need to be some comedy in there. So I don't know. The puppet looks interesting. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, at least they have my curiosity up and it's definitely something I'd want to check out one way or another. And it does have a bit of a sci-fi channel, sci-fi original kind of vibe. Although sci-fi doesn't really make those kind of movies anymore, do they? I know the Asylum's still pumping them out and being awesome, but I don't know that sci-fi themselves do. I really miss Sharknado week. Um, anyway, Sharknado in theaters. Going to go see that. It's 10th anniversary. Remastered to 4K with new scenes and new effects. Not sure how I feel about that, but I'm excited. That has nothing to do with this. Just wanted to throw that out there. Theaters, I think September 15th and 16th, if you didn't know. Because um, there is also a Sharknado trailer for that out there, but it's just too short, so I wasn't going to do it. And I did this instead, which is also too short. But hey, we've never seen anything about this, so now we have... Now I want to watch Zootopia and imagine it as a murderous revenge picture. What do y'all think of this? Are you excited? Are you hesitant? Are you like, eh, wait and see? Let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. Check out my music. Anywhere you listen to music, look up Eric Butts, especially on Spotify. That's where it's going to help me the most. And of course, go to ericbutts.com for all your funky butts fun. And then there's more in the description below. Let's click that see more button to see more butts. All right, I'm done. That's my five trailers for this week. So I can go spend the week trying to hide from my my loneliness of Mary being at Pensick and um, hanging out with the kitties and watching horror movies, which has not been that bad. So I can't complain too bad.
<laughs> but uh, on my own schedule, that's that's the that's like the one benefit is there's no working around somebody else's schedule, um, which normally fine. But you know, if you if you've been lived together long term relationships, sometimes you know that's that can be annoying. It's not a problem. It's just mildly annoying sometimes. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I don't know why. Whatever, man. You know me. I tell you. I tell you everything. I tell you everything I'm allowed to. Actually, Mary holds me back on some stuff where I would tell you everything. But see, I'm already trying to go too far. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to get out of here so I can go watch some more stuff. Finish that adult grape juice over there. And I'll see you all later.